Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues, in which we're playing as a Sinaloa Cartel. Now, in Old World Blues, there was an update that gave both us, as well as the Beltran del Via Cartel, a shared, dual, kind of unique focus stream, which we begin with since 1989. The business of vice has changed little since the Great War. And now, as you can see on the right side, this side is for the Beltran Levia cartel, so obviously we're not them, but it's actually really cool that the devs came up with the idea that both these cartels will share a focus tree that, uh, that makes them a little different, but since 1989. With the withdrawal of the U.S. occupation forces and the extinction of the Mexican government, the criminal syndicates of North Mexico were the only armed and organized groups still functional in the fall of the Great War, consolidating. Under the Sinaloa branch, the cartels would impose a rough and bloody order in the surrounding regions in the aftermath of the apocalypse. With the vast majority of the original members succumbing to radiation poisoning and becoming morbosos, or ghouls, over time the cartel would expand and reform, eventually taking direct control of the Sinaloa region, but they'd always retain one ethos of their pre-war heritage. Loyalty is everything. Very nice. And, also, and we get pre-war heritage in which uh, we get more daily compliance, which is awesome, and operative slots look really, really good as well. Plus two, that's really nice. Loyalty is everything, my friends. And the queen of Sinaloa. Good things come to those who wait. Very, very nice. And I do want to let you know which mods we are using, which is obviously Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radios, State Chancellor Tool Mod, which is hidden right now, as well as Player at Lead Peace Conferences, but the Narco Queen of Sinaloa. As the cartel grew and inserted itself, the matter of leadership soon became a crisis. With many of the upper ranks of pre-war capos already ghoulified, leadership soon began to stagnate, and unrest began to build in the lower ranks. Maria Sina Sinaloa entered this conflict as a young tenant, already moribuso, but also part of the new generation of first-generation wasteland-born narcos, seeking to challenge a decrepit leadership. Maria would pay or play these two groups off each other, and when the conflict escalated into full-scale civil war, she sold out the new blood, integrating her clique into the hierarchy before brutally purging the upper ranks, emerging as an uncontested ruler of the cartel. As Maria began her centuries-long reign as the undisputed ruler of Sinaloa, she faced her first choice. What fate awaited the new de newly defeated bloods and dissidents, old guards, and a regime? She set them south and let, them pa let the past lie. She tied off loose ends. Ooh, I like it when my... Marie is ruthless. Ooh, I like stability, but I like ruthless women. Hmm. Two cartels, both alike in infamy. Regardless of origin, recent defeat at the hands of the free fighters has united the cartels towards the three goals. Get rich, get revenge, and kill anyone who gets in their way. Now, obviously, apparently, well, maybe not obviously, but it seems like we've just suffered a defeat, yeah, from the, we are sore losers from the free fighters, so. Recent deaths at the hand of the free fighters have been a blow to national morale. Do car cartels are like an infamy. In a way, the Luchador revolt was inevitable. Decades of mistreatment, neglect, and envious looks at the freedom of the neighbors boiled into a full-scale liberation war in the cartel lands. And in another sense, the fact that this uprising was headed by a trio of masked goons obsessed with wrestling was pretty much impossible to fathom. The cartel was shaken, torn asunder, but still fighting, and now, with the dust settling, they are ready to once again reassert themselves as both the masters of Sinaloa, but as criminals, kingpins, of the wasteland. Through courage we will prevail, create a new army commander with unique traits. Through cunning we will prevail, new cartel operative? That's cool and all, I like this one. Army commander, that's cool, because actually this is a random person that we got. Juan Batista Caserta. Caserta? Caserta? And do we have a new army leader? Angel Obregon. Very, I love these unique, these are really cool portraits, these are really awesome. The guys have really outdone themselves with this stuff. Cartel thug? Nice, very nice. So now what, what can we do? Keeping control, and we can do either do autarky and bypass the embargoes. Business of vice. Ooh, our Keltar cartel operations in Nueva Atslan and Chichen Itza. Ghouls on boats, time for a shakeup. Arms, ooh, Sicarios? Stop the brain drain. Oh, yeah, that's actually re probably really good to do. Let's do that one first, probably. The longer we let the exodus of our lands continue, the sooner we will be bereft of all but the most pitiful of subjects. Providing at least some incentive to be to the worthwhile sm smooth skins in our community will help halt this mass departure. We'll give them our weekly manpower, population, research speed, appeal to refugees, because right now we're losing 50 people every single week. And we're actually losing stability, too. Yeah, 50 people a week is not very good for us. I wonder if we could just, like, max out. Yeah, let's just do that for now to save manpower. So we'll lose manpower, but that's fine with us. Whatever. Ramon? Enrique? Emiliano? Oh, he's a linguist. Why not? Oh, yeah. Wow. And we also start off with uh, our own unique intelligence agency, El Muerto Vigilante. So, actually, I don't know. I haven't played this off-screen. Like, every single campaign I do nowadays, I just to let you know, I don't I don't play off-screen for the most part. So, I don't even know what we have here. So, we have Isabella Garcia. 
Wow! 5% more recruitable population. Holy bad words. Brute. More attacking. Max planning factor. Not bad. Attacking Cortier territory. 10% more attacking. I like Geronimo. Oh! You get two 5% people? Wow! That's really strong. Wow. Alright, another one. Agent Zapat Zapata. Zapata! Oh, I, I kind of want to go with Zapata for this one. Let's see. Guzman? Oh, that's a black exception. I like that one. Tactically minded. Stubborn dude. Not bad. Expanding the gang. Not bad. Not bad. Bloodthirsty co-ruler. Oh, okay. Not bad either. So what do we have down here? Actually, for now, we saw Tlaloc's stagnation, which is kind of sucky, but whatever. Uh, let's go and grab just this stuff and just do it quickly. This happens every campaign. And I'll come up here and do some more industry. We can do some research, but whatever. Or some uh, construction, but we can wait. So we have maintaining control. While we lay claim to the vast territories of the land, the peasants' acceptance of our rules maintained almost entirely through equal parts of desperation and fear. Keeping this delicate balance is essential to avoiding unfortunate repercussions. Our cartel influence gives us nothing abroad. Um, economic influence. Oh, we get another civvy. Retell a story. We get weekly stability and... Oh, that's not bad. Actually, um, I don't think I have a calculator with me right now. Let's see. Do I pull up a deck? Uh, let's see. That's a lot of days. So, actually, I do have a calculator here. So, 180 days. Let's do some math right now. 180 uh, divided by 7 is how many weeks? That's roughly 25 weeks. So, 25 times 0.5. So that's about supposedly 12 inches of stability? That's a lot. That's a lot. I don't believe you, but I do believe you. Invest in the people. Uh, when selected, minus one. I'll use caps. But you get more stability in the end? Okay. Oh, and now you get another civvy, too. This easy solution. Tone down the oppression? But what would be like oppression here? When selected, 0% of the state's population will be destroyed. Oh. Oh, we'll just kill people. I kind of like that. Alright, but let's see what else, because we sometimes we get some more political power too, so let's just time go on for now. Enter liaison. That's kind of cool. Masterful engineer, not bad. Also, we do have this one, so... Ooh, actually, where is it? Yeah. Civilian factory construction speed minus 90%. Take what you can and give nothing back. Holy crap, that's really not good. And who do we have down here? Cultural advisors? Maria's clique is not his ruler. Um, daily compliance, 0.35%. Wow. <clears throat> Emilio, let's do a Martin. Martin, Martin. Oh, 10%. Oh, I've got to go pee pee that way. Oh, my goodness. I've got to. Because right now we get one, pretty much one. But now we're at 1.17. So, 0.16 more. Nice. And Maria gives us even more political power. I love it. It's great. So, we're almost done with this one. Actually, reference manuals are done too. Oh, very nice. Construction time. Can we even build anything? No. I'm not even building anything. Because we can't build anything. Holy crap. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, boy. Oh, what is this? The anniversary of the American occupation. Today marks the grim day in Mexican history. The beginning of the American occupation, even after two centuries. The people of Mexico still remember when American forces entered Mexico for the first time. The occupation led to the annexation and colonization of North Mexico and to a pro-American puppet Mexico. The creation of Petro Chico, an arm of Poseidon Energy. And the creation of the Rio Grande, whose American soldiers helped Mexican citizens after the bombs dropped. Despite the centuries that have passed, the people of Mexico still have the fiber resistance in their hearts. Our people will continue to fight. Cool. Yeah, I'll probably just go and retell the stories again. That's a lot of stability. I love it. I don't want to lose any more. Actually, we get more weekly war support, too. That's not too too bad, actually. Scientific scientific procurements? It's not bad. Duplicate research. Oh, and we join our cartel research. That's kind of cool. Drug expertise. New arms race. Well, I probably want to go with more technology first. And do some of this. Uh, actually, we are... Yeah, we're civilized. So let's do this one. Cool. Improvised tools. Very nice. Stop the brain drain. Carte bond. Time for a shake-up. Why not? Uh, oh, yeah. One, two. Fire and fury. Mm, we lose We get, We get. lose organization for more attack. Hmm. Our defeat at the hands of the luchadors have sent the cartel into stagnant coma, forever licking wounds and plotting revenge, while our enemies grow stronger. But things are changing in Mexico, and it's time to stop sitting around and get what's ours. Good. Tone down oppression. Oh, I don't know. Win or move, you get more stability by a lot, at a cost of a lot of war support. I don't think I like that one. I think I'll just retell the story. That's really good. If it was written down, you'd call it propaganda. It is what it is. How much money are we making, actually? Oh, we should have a trade node, right? A gift from above, over the centuries. The weather has changed drastically. Radiation storms and droughts ravage the wasteland. As seasons change in Mexico, our people and especially our farmers once again pray for rain and prosperity for our crops. Let's hope this year brings us hope. And the heavens answered. Nice. Oh, we do not have a trade node. That kind of sucks. Yeah, that sucks. I don't think we did, but whatever. 
Make sure everyone trains as much as they can. That'll be good. And any upgrades? Probably inspirational. I like inspirational. And we're, since we're using ghoul infantry... Oh, Cartel Thug is nice. Um, ghoul attack and defense, yeah. Mysterious Stranger will be very good. Anything else here? Now, which way are we going to go down for land doctrine? Actually, we already have recon? Oh, we do have recon support already. Oh, that's kind of nice. Let's go root it for now, just because that's good for defense, defensive measures and stuff. So, thank you. And thank you. Not bad. Security stability, 6%. Not bad. Could be better, though. Wait, current stability is 5%. Oh, it's going down. Avo avoiding a unfortunate circumstances. Well, that sucks. You tell the st story. Let's get that one immediately, then. So now, it should not be going down as nearly as much. It's still going down by 0.5%. That's pretty bad. Not gonna lie, that's pretty bad. <clears throat> eh, we'll do it once. Why not? Hey, we're now up to 8%. Nice. So we're still losing stability. So maybe we want to not lose it anymore. Aeris, daily elite support. Oh, daily ruler support. Wow, look at that. Oh, construction basics. Cool. Actually, where is stability in here? Because I, I want to get rid of the debuffs. So, we have that one, we get more stability. Um, you don't get any, you get some more stability because of the heiress. Reaffirm ties, no aggression back with them. Population control, oh, refugee crisis. Oh, gets removed there. Okay. That's good. Refugee crisis. Soaking the flames. Eh, that's okay. You lose attack, actually, I don't like that. Puerta, not bad. Economic legitimacy is very cool. Thinking bigger, yes. Tokens of affection. Ooh. They get more weekly stability that way, too. Horizontal integration. I like that. Get a lot more stability. Okay, so keep in control. So, refugee thing. So we're losing this, but how do we get rid of... Sword loser is not very good. Cartel Nation. Yeah. Let's look up where we can see that, too. And we made another division, which is nice, too. There we go. Let's take a look. Cartel... Um, partners in crime, guarantee them. Think bigger. Yeah, I do want to think bigger. One last bout. Uh, rewrite the will. No, the little guys, not bad. Uh, we can't do that one, so. Reform ties is fine. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Maybe I've already passed it, but I don't see anything here regarding that stuff, so. Meet me in the middle. So the lock will not be happy about that, which is fine. Cut the ties, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything about it. Cartel research. How do we get rid of this? Chance to go poorly. Doing it legitly. Rancher bribes. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Army of two? I and mean, we could join them. I apologize, this is taking me so long. It just... I don't see anything here. We get rid of... I guess we can't get rid of, get rid of it. So it's good to know... Um, but what are we going to do next? Boats? Eh, I could probably wait for boats. Business of vice. Ah, uh, keeping control. Our business model traditionally revolves around the infiltration and smuggling of contraband into foreign nations, but it's, this has meant the lands under our direct control have languished. Building up our own dom domestic industry will help balance our economy and provide a semblance of stability to our territory. Oh, look at all the people we have now. Nice. Tone down oppression? Yeah, I guess at the cost of weekly war support, so be it. we gotta do that one. Because it's not looking very good right now. And I'd like to do that one too, but we'll see what happens. So, oh, capture the warrant. Well, there goes the troll warrant, even though we're in, we are in historical, but whatever. All right, let's come over here. Who do we have? Zapata. I'm not really sure which way I want to go at the time of this recording for land auction. Well, it looks like we'll get a bonus to this one, the bass. Conventional warfare. Well, technically, I kind of want asymmetrical, maybe, just because we're cartels. So, that makes more sense. But... Ancient tactics are nice. You get more organization, more breakthrough, walking infantry. Can you imagine a drug cartel in Fallout using ancient legion tactics? That actually would be pretty darn cool. Wasteland tactics. Yes, yeah, for militia. I mean, that makes some sense to use as well. Locals. What do you mean by locals, actually? Militia. Enforcers, which I don't really use enforcers too much. Yeah, if you really use militia a lot, I don't know. The right side of the tree is okay. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys use the right side of the tree at all? I usually don't use it anymore. Not, at least not too much. I think I might just go with conventional warfare for this one. It's conventional. It works for us now. 
Maybe whenever I play this this nation, maybe I'll do asymmetric warfare, but we'll see. We shall see. Cool. So conventional warfare it is. Thank you. And so we get some more army XP, so we can increase our divisions and um, yeah, just make them better. How are we making so many divisions? Don't get me wrong, I like it, but still. Admiral? No. Manuel Corona? Cool. And train until you die. Nice. Keeping control. Now, do we want autarky or do we want bypass the embargoes? Hmm. Meeting the neighbors. Do we want to do. Well, I think bigger would be good to do. Do we want to do friends with benefits or partners in crime? Tokens of affection versus respect of equals. Confessions? Wedding bells? Or Army of Two? Oh, that, that's an old game. I've never played Army of Two. I should have played that when I had the chance. Um, I'm not really sure what's going to happen. I guess we can choose either one. It, I guess it kind of depends on what the Beltran Levia does on historical. So, I'm not really sure. So, what do you guys prefer? What do you think would be better for us to do for historical? Friends with benefits. Or partners in crime. Eventually getting married, apparently. Or doing Army of Two. Let me know which way you guys think would be better for us. Because for now, let's go ahead and do... Bypassing embargoes. Uh, I don't want to think about that one just yet. Let's do the new dynasty. Succession is a complicated affair in the night nigh immortal hierarchy of the cartel. The near total gold membership has meant that a change in leadership rarely goes smoothly and for decades now Maria has ruled as a regent before officially taking the top job, but now things have changed. Emilia Sinaloa, a smooth-skinned cartel tenient, and the goddaughter of Sinaloa has been, has been declared Maria's official successor and will take the reins of the cartel upon Maria's retirement. We get stability and daily elite support and daily ruler support. Nice. And get her as a uh, general. Nice. Good. 16% not bad. Looking not too bad, we get plus 1% every week, which is not, not too bad, actually. Pretty good. I do kind of want to save my PP, or our PP, for what's going to happen later on, just because, uh, well, we got to get more stability, so. But it probably won't be too bad to spend it. After, after this one, oh, what is this one? Improvised tools are nice to have. Very good. We're doing that already. We got some planes. No, we got to get some planes. Hmm. Chem friend. Tactically minded, eh? Oh, are we on Wasteland Economy? Let's go to Welcome Army, then. Does that give us any civvies? It does give us one to work on. I don't want to build any of, uh, civvies, just because it's minus 90% is just so extreme. But Autarky, it's not bad. Lose resources to market. Agricultural Centralization. Uh, old World City. Okay, cool. Or Bypass Embargoes. And Population Control. Oh, yeah, we want to do that one, too. Yeah, forgot about that. Yep. Tax Regulation. The Remembrance of War. Even after two centuries of survival in the desert, cities, and jungles of Mexico, we mark this day and remember the Great War, as many of us still remember the day the bombs dropped. But this day marks the destruction of our nation and the end of the world, but we will continue to prosper for another year. We need to celebrate survival. Ooh, I kind of like this. Become a member state of Enta City Economic Node. Ooh, resource diversification. Dia de los Muertos. Today marks the traditional celebration of the Day of the Dead. While the origins of the festivity have been mostly lost in the centuries after Armageddon, the spirit of supernatural celebration and ancestral remembrance remains strong. All across Mexico, from the highest classes to the lowest, commemoration of the event unites people, cementing this small connection with the world that has passed for another year. Save me a sugar skull. Nice. Honestly, which one is... We can do both of these. I kind of want to do autarky, just because we were kind of forced to do this, I guess, to a degree. I don't know. I kind of want to get agricultural centralization. And we can still do both of these, so... Maybe do autarky. There are very few groups willing to trade with us, meaning that the obtainment of resources has become difficult. Building a self-sustaining economic model in our territory will help rectify this issue. Yeah, this one's cool and all, but maybe we'll do this one when we uh, play as the Beltran cartel version, or whatever. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah, sorry. Mentally, I'm going... Having coffee. Oh, economic investment. I think to the gods. Well, let's get some woodworking done first. A thank to the gods. Today marks a date or a celebration of Thanksgiving in Mexico. Even though the festivity of the holiday has been burnt away by nuclear fire, the idea of thinking gods has remained. Across Mexico, Tlaloc gives food and tries to impart the mostly American tradition on the people of Mexico. The Mexican people thank their gods and pray for another year of safety and survival. Uh, thanks for the free food. So this one. Ooh, we lose a lot of money. Which we can afford. I personally would like to do trade missions out to go to other places, but whatever. Um... And get off map civvy. I want that badly. The easy solution? 43 people will be dead. 0% of the states will be destroyed. And that's fine with us. Yes, give them more stability then. That's great. Love it. I like how the devs are making different places of the world unique in the, in the mod. I, lo I really enjoy it. I think that's great. 
But man, when's the next Old World Blues update, man? Oh, we got more PP. Pee -pee. We like the PP. -pee. And are we passively assimilating people? Yes! Yes, we are! That's actually really good! I actually really like that! Yes, yes! A thousand times yes! I love assimilation. Just go and do that one too. And actually, we don't have that many factories. We need a lot of guns. But we need to build more pipe guns and more support equipment. Actually, we're not doing too bad on guns. Actually, go and do that one. <clears throat> Our divisions are just not great. Ooh. Just make sure if we have to use these. I'm not going to use infantry. I'm going to use ghoul infantry. What's the difference between these two, actually? This one just uses slightly more supply. So basically nothing. Which is fine. Totally fine. Going to keep training. Oh, we have another division. How many divisions am I making? I thought it was... Oh, we're making all of these. That's right. Because we're lo losing weekly stability. That's right. Which doesn't look like it's really helping us out that much. So. But whatever. Alright, so I think we'll be okay. Are we actually mobilizing? How do we have so much? Two and a half? Oh. Well, it's okay. Doesn't matter to me. There you go. Go to four of them. <clears throat> so we got that one going, which is nice. I like to go to outside of battalions as well eventually. Um, daily compliance. That's just so strong. I love that there's quite a few of these guys you can choose. I do want to get this one, but we'll see what happens. After autarky, though, population control. If some of the smooth skims keep leaving, we will soon become a nation of ghoul towns. Patrolling and closing down the borders of our territory will dissuade our reluctant citizens from emigrating to freer pastures. Nice. <clears throat> and we could be in the scavenging program. Uh, invest in the people. What happens here? We lose caps for th 30 days. We lose one civvy workshop, but then we get one civvy workshop eventually. And stability. Let's go do that. Do both. Who cares? And let's do population control. So we can remove the refugee crisis. Which we get. We don't lose weekly manpower anymore. We get more monthly population. Actually, I kind of don't mind the refugees coming here. Sure, it hurts our stability for a little bit. But if we can assimilate them fast enough, we get a bigger and bigger population, which is something you could always use. Even though we're playing in Mexico, um, it's, it's still nice to have a bigger, bigger, as big a population as possible. That's corn. So. Uh, I do that one too. Why not? How many civvies do we have? Just two? Yeah, we have just two, which is fine. Whatever. Retelling the story would be good to do as well next. We get more weekly stability. Nice. Uh, go do that too. Conventional warfare. Thank you. Nice. Good, 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 good. So, obviously, there's not a lot, whole lot of conflict here yet, but that's okay. Sometimes we can't get a lot of conflict when we start. We're just really, really out of guns. Oh my goodness. Actually, only minus 500. That's not too bad. Happy 2276, everyone. Let's grab some more research speed. Resistors. Thank you. Let's get a new field marshal. Oh no. Emilia Sinaloa. Oh, Emilia. Hello, mama. Inspirational, yes. And uh, that's it. Cool. And the divide. Oh man, it's going to be so hard to play the divide someday. Tax regulation. I like that a lot. Um, eliminate the yes men. Drastically reduces. Oh! Reduces the advisor cost. Okay. Loyalty is a good trait, but ambition is better. Rather than hire the insipidly, insipidly trustworthy, positions of power will be given to those who strive for it. Very nice. There you go, just load up on this guy. Oh, if we do this one. Whoa, now look at that. If we do this, 5,000 people will be killed at arms factory and a civilian factory will be killed as well. So no, we're not going to do that anyone more, anymore. But eliminate the yes men. Uh, procure many things, maintain control. 60%, that's not bad. That's not too bad. After this, reaffirm ties. We could probably do that one. The racket. I really want to try the other side too sometime. Oh, okay. We'll be destroyed. So when we do this one, when we do the other cartel, we probably want to rush down here fast so it doesn't hurt our industry when we replace them. This effect will change in future reworks. Oh, La Mascara del Norte. Um, if you wonder about these guys, please go ahead. I think. Yeah, I don't think it'd be good. Do we want these guys here? Does the cartel want the followers of the apocalypse? Hmm. Well. We, we want to sell drugs. Will these people help people who, who try to get off drugs? Hmm. I kind of honestly want them in. Because it could help build the territory up a little bit. But they could hurt our power if they... Hmm. They're only pacifists, though. So if they're pacifists, we can bully them. They can help the people out. Well, and we don't have to spend money on them. But we can beat the crap out of them if we really wanted to, right? Tell you the followers. Hmm... Support for any sort of war amongst the population of these nations is slipping. Uh, you know what? We'll do. We'll accept them this time. Next time we won't accept them. Whenever plays the next cartel, so because especially since we massacre people anyway. So whatever. It is what it is. Oh, cool. 
So let's go ahead and read from time. It's only 35 day focus, and we get some more stability. While the relations have been somewhat shaky in the past, the cartels must stand together if they are to prosper. Re-establishing relationship will provide provide a deterrent uh, to any over-eager expansion by our neighbors for a time being, even though Slowlock is still alive and pro technically protecting us. So, in this way, we can cancel that relatively sooner rather than later if we if they do want to cancel it in there. So that's fine with us. Seat selection. A little bit ahead of time for that stuff. Still a little bit ahead of time. Let's grab some smoke signals. I hope we get another research slot. What? I kind of doubt that we will. Are uh, we still losing stability? Oh, yes, we are. Hmm. I guess if we do have a little bit of money, we can start investing in our intelligence agency. So, very cool. What else can we do here? The Reclamation Authority? Nice. Very nice. We have three civvies. Not bad. This is very weird. Almost every campaign I play, we start off building civvies, but right now, not so much. Oh, we get the Oh, yes. So at a minimum of 150 equipment to sell. Oh, so we can just buy guns. Actually, I like that. I love Enta del Sol. I think that's great. Also, take over Petro Chico. Eliminate the Yes Men. And Los was puppeted. Read from the ties. Very good. Up next, what are we going to do? The racket? Spoils of crime. Invitation to the Gulf Conference. We could do that one. But let's get some resistors first. And do what? Warrior training. Nothing here yet. We're still retelling the story, which is not bad. Former departments, okay. The business of vice. I get some more civvies. The empires of Atsla and Itza are the cartel's first port of call when it comes to business. Thanks to the subtle pressure of the Baron and their own military-obsessed focus, their drug trade in southern Mexico is flourishing. Beautiful. You never know. Let's do all these guys. Oh, that's... We were training there. Oops. Oh, well, whatever. Good enough. Good enough. We have a lot of pee-pee. I love it. What else? Quarterly income report. If you wonder about that, please go right ahead. It's fine, whatever. Uh, tone down the oppression. Uh, I don't want to lose any more war support, honestly. It's, it's a fine balance between getting war support and losing stability. So, huh. Business advice. And they can do that one too, which we something that actually I really want to get done. And water is looking... Resources are okay, not great. Research for medical tech, it's only 10. Why not? Research speed could be really good. Tone down the oppression. Eh, I don't know about that. Maybe a little bit later, because it's only 44%. So, not too bad. Nice. And we'll, 51 will be assimilated into the states very soon. Not much, but it is what it is. Cool. Anything else here? Surrender limit, normal relations. Oh, that's so good. I do want this one, but we're not going to become the elite party, probably. Invisible ink. We have so much PP. Economic advisors. <sighs> Infantry equipment production cost goes down. I like that one a lot. We are building up infrastructure first, though. Infrastructure and civilian construction speed. That would probably be the best one we'll do for now. Because we want both of these eventually, so. Battle plans, nice. Smoke signals. Good fortifications. And let's grab some of this. We're still building actually some planes up, which is really good. Pretty good. Guns looking great. Actually, we have 15, so with these guys, I do want to make these guys 20 combo with. I'm still used to making them 20 combo with. With the update to Old World Blues, <clears throat> have you guys switched on your meta? Have you started using demo teams and fire teams in your actual infantry divisions? Let me know in the comments, just because I like to keep aware of the meta, what you know, whatever mob, but especially Old World Blues, since the devs like to make things a little bit different and shake things up a little bit more. So let me know in the comments below. Do you guys actually use ghoul, or ghouls, fire teams or demo teams in your divisions? Let's go and do these guys. That's good. Make your guys really defensive focused. So, dismantle the program. No. Um, tone down. No. Easy. No. Invest in the people. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll lose some money, but we'll get some more stability in the end. And again, another civvy workshop. So when selected, when removed. Wait, is that? Hold on. When selected. So then that means we get that civvy workshop back in the end, right? That should mean that, right? Because now we have. Four. So we should have six at that time. That is over, right? Now we get another one. That's not bad. Distribution centers. Uh, we're not building up that stuff yet. Smuggling caches. Let's go and do the Henta Customs Union. The Generalissimo remains one of our only supporters in the region. On the condition, of course, that we curtail some of our more illicit operations in its territory. While unfortunate, the province of legitimate trade with the Henta more than make up for it. So we should have six here? Hopefully, uh, uh, and then again, it doesn't really matter at the end, just because we do get quite a bit of stability, which is a nice chunk of change. 
38 caps. Uh, what do I like to get more? Hmm. Keep building up them infantry. Infantry? Infrastructure. Oh, words are hard. Gulf trade. Cartel operations? I kind of want to see what that does. I, got, I do want to maybe make some more money. Tax regulations. Uh, human resources. The effects will change in future reworks. Basic stability. Octarchy, huh? Going legit? Criminal industrial project. Ooh, I kind of want to do that. Ooh, it's centralization. Uh, yeah, I kind of do agricultural centralization since it's le less than three weeks. Very little care has been taken in the affairs of the normies, aside from the collection of taxes and brutal suppression of dissent. If we reorganize a desperate homesteads into a cohesive industrial region, both of these tasks would be far more simple and, of course, profitable, which is the most important thing here. Ooh, look at that. I like that pistol. That's really nice. That doesn't look like a pistol, but that's okay. Mm, yeah. Better get... We're running out of manpower. Hmm. But we're only on, what, Tlaloc's uh, basic level? Uh, so expensive. Oh, my goodness. That's alright. Uh, retail story, yes. This way we only lose 0.5. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And I want to buy stuff. Okay, so we did that one again. So now we have... Yeah, we went down. For four, now it's six. Invest in the people. Do that again. No, we don't do that. We still get 38, right? Yeah, 38. So now, now we're down to five. So we should go up to seven next, right? We should go up to seven. Agriculture. You know, get more building slots. Why not? I like the building slots. But we still have... Yeah, that one. That debuff. The criminal, criminal economy. Which really does suck. But, honestly, if we can keep getting cities like off-screen, with both the followers of the apocalypse, as well as investing the people... You know what? This is actually kind of interesting that we can do that. So we, don't have to, we can focus on building other things other than civvies. Which is... Kind of different, which I do kind of like, actually. Man, words are hard. Oh, baby boy. Oh, man. Oh, look at that naval XP. Oh, we five more? Nice. Mafiosos. I think I'm on a way to get throw some demo teams on there. Because we do have enough equipment, hopefully, for that. Oh, uh, we don't have enough fire teams, though. But oh, whatever. Hey, Lanius, please do well this time. Please do well. Tone down the oppression. Six. Jumps up to eight. Please. No, it only jumps up to seven. That's fine. And we get more stability anyways. That's the most important thing. Cool. Diversification. You get a lot more resources, which is not bad. Rancher bribes. They get more passive caps income. Extra trade overlord. Alright, alright. Uh, coastal activities. Let's do ghouls on boats. While their naval activities have traditionally been limited to smuggling operations and small-time piracy, with our operations expanding, the time has come for us to build a new proper navy, so it's better to assert and protect our dominance on the Gulf Sea, which sounds like a pretty good thing. And here we are, everyone, in which we are doing Gulf trade. Sinaloa has had a presence in the Baja even before the bombs dropped, and while the bandito lords who now control the peninsula may not appreciate our intrusion, our operations come with a guarantee of support for their tenuous leadership, guaranteeing us a great jumping point for smuggling further afield. Great. And hopefully get some decisions for more money making. Smuggling caches sounds pretty good to us, but hmm, every own state gets two infrastructure. Well, we could probably honestly use that now. And I'm trying to build up an airbase here in Paral, just so we can deploy some planes and start getting some air XP. So, distribution centers. The bombed out remains of pre-war roads and highways are no longer sufficient to cater to our burgeoning economy. To accommodate our domestic growth, new infrastructure projects need to be supplemented or supersede the aging tarmacs of the old road. And do we have any new things here? So right now we have seven civvies. Anyway, I did uh, invest in people again just because we could. Um, and get more stability as well as we're getting some more upgrades for our intelligence agency in which we get a fourth operative. Very cool. Probably close out of that. How are refugees coming along? 35 more refugees will be assimilated, which is very, very nice. And, oh, and it's almost done. 20, and now we're up to 9. Beautiful. And I would like to do some more economic investment, which would be good. Other than that, not too much else has happened. Um, do we have anything here regarding the Baja states? They said something about Baja, right? And drastic measures? No. Uh, procurement of things? No. Ca caps economy? Refugees? No. Hmm. A generalissimo's offer, so that's kind of weird. So... Huh. Gulf trade. Cartel operations, but I don't see any cartel operations. I mean, you can sometimes see it on the map as well. Oh, wait, we're on this one. Okay, maybe maybe we need to do that one. We were on Intel. Anything here? No. I mean, they're in war currently, but... I'm not seeing too much. Hmm. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Sebastian Robles? 
Oh, counterintelligence. I like that one. Let's do that one. Cool. And now we're going to go with basic tools. Ah, let's get some more construction speed. Clay working. Why not? And we should have the air base done, which is nice, nice, nice. Good. Go and start training immediately, and we'll go all the way up to 50 for now. Good. Setting ourselves up for the future war. That will happen eventually. And tone down oppression. No, invest with the people. I'd like to do that, but we can wait. We can wait. Definitely wait for that one. So after distribution centers, cash crops, hmm. Cartel operations and alignment options in the NCR and Legion. Coastal system. Hmm. Battle for Hoover Dam. Las Granjas racket, maybe? The Las Granjas leadership is notoriously corrupt to the point of farce. While we've mostly ignored the dirt poor ranchers in the past, perhaps a large-scale bribery operation would be profitable, as long as you don't pay in Brahmin. Anniversary of the American occupation. If you'd like to read about that, please go ahead. More war support is always welcome here. We have 10 options here, huh? Retail story? You might as well. Because we're still losing in weekly stability, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, tone down? Nope. Government set schools. And how much money do we have? We don't have that much money, honestly. Old row wall holds, which happens pretty much every single time. I don't think I've ever seen it where it's not holding, especially on historical, so which makes sense, but still. Um, technology, research speed. Eh, you can grab that one, why not? Actually, how much, how much of a core population do we have? 100,000, that's not bad. Tone down oppression. Easy solution. Actually, this one, yeah, that's worth doing. Th only 334 civilians die? Eh, it's alright. We don't lose any factories or stuff like that, so that's worth it. That's actually worth it. All right. Also, off screen, I did get the Vice Royalty Branch Office, in which we get better caps income as well as less consumer goods. And I like that. I'm not sure if it's just for this nation or not, but I'll get from above. Look at that. Nice. Oh, actually, that's not very good. We lose some political power. But they actually have unique ideas. Enta Arms, much better ballistic weapons research. Uh, Ju Hu Kotel Industries, Fabrice Offloads. I mean, it's just the robot manufacturer, but I like that they have special icons now, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go Trooper Warfare. Vacuum tubes, what do we have here? Primitive radios, yes please. Let's see, diplomatic training, go and hire some four heroes. Nice. And we also have, I mean, that looks really cool. I like the unique icons for these, all these. There's not, not the difference in terms of production and research, but that's okay. Oh, and they cancel an aggression pact. Better Trico Reserve, very nice. Coast of Core Entertainment, which is not too bad. As well as Tohono Advisory Firm. Actually, I do want to get that one, but we already went with this one, so whatever. And we get an event here too. The Gulf Conference, huh? Well, this spoils the crime. Lost Ground just was a corrupt, shameless kleptocracy before we enter the picture, but there's no question that we've definitely accelerated the decline as it stands. We're in a pristine and prime position to massively increase our influence in the region, but it may be more prudent to take our earnings in both the, before the situation collapses entirely. Set up a long-term operation, which they lose political power and get more caps income. Let's not get too comfortable. Um, where's this one? Cash out. You know what? They lose political power to get more passive caps income. We don't get that much money, but they get, lose a lot of stuff there. Let's have a long-term operation. And let's do arm the sicar sicarios. Uh, actually, we can kind of wait on that, maybe. You know what? I'll leave this up to you guys. Should we do fire and fury? Or this one? Actually, we'll probably go down with quiet, quiet violence, probably. Just because we already went down conventional warfare. So, Fear and loathing and hatred. Actually, that makes more sense to do it later on. So, for La Grande and Cajon, the raid, we'll go down this way. So, we'll probably do quiet violence, squad tactics... Armament of Avarice. Um, let's do... I want to wait this one because this will cost money. So let's do this one. Scientific procurement. It's sad to say, but our scientific community is already pitiful before anyone started leaving. And by now, the damage is already pretty much done. To make up for lost time, we can instead procure cutting-edge research and researchers from our more technologically advanced neighbors. Which unlocks scientific procurement decisions, less recruitable population factor, but more research speed, which would be quite beneficial, I would say. Anything else here? Oh, help out settlements. That'd be good. We currently have nine cities. This could be better, but whatever. Demand demilitarization, we're going to lose uh, stuff here, huh? War support and political power. Oh, well, don't really care too much. And that's okay. Create a Mexico section? No, we're good. We are okay. We definitely don't want to do that one. And after this one, what are we going to do next? Guerrero's conviction? Uh, drug expertise? It's not too bad. Actually, medical chem support. That's actually not bad. Plus, temperature, more trickleback and organization. Actually, I guess we'll use chems for this campaign then. Cartel research the Gulf Conference, a benefactor. Ooh. Grudges to settle. I like that. And cut the lines. The Gulf Conference. It starts. I think I want to do what? Smuggling caches. Coastal ecosystem. Let's do this one. Smuggling caches. After we get some more research done, of course. Mm, there we go. 
Resupply points along the Pacific coast are essential for successful smuggling, but are a weak point in terms of naval defense. Shoring up these points into a proper naval bases will prevent an unwanted oh, seaborne intrusion. Two more uh, naval dockyards. One, two, three, four gets two coastal forts and a naval base. Not bad. Not bad. What do you need for this? Primitive radio, which we're working on right now anyway. So we got so much PP. Tone down the pressure. Easy solution. Uh, that's a lot of civvies. I don't know if I want to do that one yet. We can do this one. That might, might not be too bad. Military society. You lose weekly stability to get even more war support. So uh, it's kind of a mixed mix bag for that one. Hey! Oh, that was just available. Oh my goodness. People keep buying all their stuff. Holy crud. Welcome, Gashers. Thank you. But what is this now? Balanced research. We lose stability. We get no. We get stability. Recruit as agent? No, we're okay. Tone down oppression? No. Invest in the people? Probably, yeah. I want more stability, so that'll be fine. Uh, balance research. Ooh, military advancements. Military research focus. Well, actively lose research speed. When removed, we remove it. Wait, how long does this last? We get a lot more research speed for everything here. Naval attack. Balance research. You lose the research speed, but you get more stability. Whoa, wait, uh, what? Balance research, huh? Military research focus. So we can take this, probably take this away eventually as well. Um, you know, let's do this one, just because we're doing our land auction right now. So that, let's do that one. So now we got this one, right? Find some other refugees. So we get some more infantry tech, which is actually really good for a land auction too. So we are doing the helmet stuff, so that's not too bad. Cool. Very cool. Anything else here? While active, we well, we do lose research speed. So I don't want to do these too, e too much. Easy solution. Eh, it's jumping around. If it's less than 2,000 population that dies, I think they will, then we'll do it. But, ooh, economic investment would be nice. There you go. We'll do that one. Nice. Smuggling caches. Oh, we have no money. Oh, crap. That's not good. We have no money. Um. Oh. Well, that's not good. Crud. I should stop spending so much money then. Yeah, seriously. How can we get more... Uh, drug cartel stuff, please. I want to do drug cartel stuff. Uh, how do I... Am I not seeing it right? Please? Um, I'm not really sure, but... Actually, when are we going to get money? Oh, okay, in 12 days. That would be good. Actually, it's military sending bonuses. Military little bribes, no. Uh, primitive radio is nice. It's a little bit ahead of time for me to do that one there. What are we going to do else here? Uh, basic tools, why not? Cool. And smuggling caches. We could use money right now. Realistically, yeah, we really could. But probably ecosystem. Well, it may seem like a violent backwater compared to the peaceful metropoles of Rio or California. The West Gulf is full of wealth, if you know where to look. Our positive relationships with other alternative nations of the Gulf have allowed for an unprecedented level of economic growth built on a foundation of highly calculated greed. More docket output. Trading cost goes way down and get more caps. Members of the war, we need celebrated survival. Pretty much. Pretty much. It's weird that we have 60-day focuses. I'm so not used to them. I'm so much more used to... Oh, Dia de los Muertos. Save me sugar school. Very cool. I'm much more used to like 35-day focuses or just short focuses. Just period. Uh, World Cup Army. We could technically go down to like mothball divisions, but nah. We're not going to do that one for now. Oh, look how cheap this, these guys are right now. Actually, how are we doing with this stuff? No, that's not bad. Um, Crimson Acolytes. Cool. Uh, prepared defenses are nice. Let's grab some of that. Anti-armor tactics. Normal relations. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. I'll probably switch these guys out. Maybe eventually. I'd like to do that one, but... Mm. Toothpick, yeah. These three at the bottom don't really matter. City construction speed, man. Research efficiency gain. Factory output's not bad. A thank to the gods. Very cool. Economic integration. We make more guns more quickly. How many guns do we not have? We actually we have enough guns for now. That's actually not too bad at all. Let's do some of our thing here. Let's do some... Yeah. Let's do that one. Hmm, anything else here? Not too much, really. We can do that one, we can do that one, that's fine. We don't really need that many more guns right now. Infrastructure, we're just trying to build up as fast as possible. Uh, military factory construction speed, though. It's so cheap. You know what, we're building them up anyways. Just build them up. More roads, more roads, more roads, more roads. After this one, nation, national market speculation. I'll do that one, try to get some more cartels off. Because we want cartels, right? Limiting our operations to Mexico proper demonstrates a simple lack of vision. Wherever there's a great city of vice or want, the cartel will be there, ready to provide all of life's pleasures and also take some. We get some more caps, which is kind of important right now, since we're kind of out of caps. 
Easy solution. Uh, that's okay for now. Retail the store, you might as well, so we don't lose any more war support, or not too much. Uh, not too bad. Oh, 52, yeah. 52 people? Nah, whatever. Uh, well, I guess they have equipment now. Well, I guess not. We just need more money. Hey, coastal ecosystem. Finally. Cash crops? That'd be pretty good. Get more civvies? What do we have? Nine? We're working on it on all of our stuff pretty darn quickly. Or at least as fast as possible. Caps economy was 73, which is good. Procurement of things, we can do that. We can wait. Eh, we can spend a little bit more here, right? There you go. Oh, wow. We actually do have quite a few guys now. Nice. Angel Magia? Something like that? I'm not really sure. There you go. Good luck. Good luck. Cool. And you guys go down there. So we're pretty much ready to go to war with these guys whenever we need to. You guys, Angel, um, Angel, Angel, something like that. I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see, anything else here? Local recruitment. Uh, is there any... Are these... Recruiting... Local agent. Well, do we need to do that? I mean, I don't usually do that one, but... I'm not seeing any cartel things yet, so... Hmm. Well, after that one, the best mines of Mexico. Gain access to any shared advisors from our allies in the Gulf. Wow! As well as sharing our ours in turn. That's actually kind of cool. That's a lot of people that we don't really need, though. Cash crops? I guess we get some more civvies. And the city will get increased, huh? Okay, well, basic tools will be nice. Public projects are very nice as well. I guess we'll do some cash crops. I don't know. I don't want to do this yet before Tlaloc dies, just because... Well, I don't want to get blown to the heck and back, so... Cash crops. Narcotic crops are not easy to cultivate, and relying on monocultures will degrade our already meager soil. Balancing our production with consumption-oriented crops will help nip this problem in the bud. Nice. So, do get options, please. I want to do drug stuff. I want to do drugs. You don't... No one should do drugs, but you should just sell them. You should only sell drugs. Never do them. Cool. And, well, it's pause anyway, so. Eh, lightweight, lightweight metals, why not? Got a lot of naval PP. Naval XP, not PP. Think about PP too much. Naval XP. Oh, we need some more of that, too. Uh, oh, yeah, forgot about army XP. Mafiosos. Yeah, I think for now, we're just going to try true. Just a lot of infantry. They're just mostly here for defense. There you go. 20 combo width will be nice. Now we're really out of manpower, which is not very good. That's fine, whatever. And actually, how, much, how many caps are we not getting right now? Ah, so that's still pretty good. That's still not too bad for what we've got. Request aid? Eh, might as well. It's only 10 PP. We got enough PP anyways. There you go. Outside battalions. After that one, we'll do some hidden compartments, maybe? Naval training. Hidden compartments. Fleet coordination. Two more dockyards. Naval goals. Ghoul stuff. Anti-armor tactics. And we'll grab some soldier-level radio integration. Great. Followed up with what? Civil architects. That's not bad. Engineers. Uh, we'll probably do this one just because I want to get that stuff, those blueprints pretty quickly. So mass production is still a ways off from being achievable. But we've already rediscovered new building and production methods to be more efficient than our current means. Applying these new methods across our nation will help us streamline our production and further increase efficiency. Nice. Easy solutions back again. Ooh, that's too many guys in factories for me to do this. It changes from time to time. I'm not really sure why it changes all the time. I would like to do this one too. Economic investment. Oh, look! Our cartel influence. Look at that. Minus 3% consumer goods, 50% enemy war goal time, and 0.12 more daily political power. Nice. Cool. And we're still building up, so. We're building up a lot of stuff here pretty darn quickly. We could use some more millies actually in the end, though, too. Like 100%. That's so good. Wait, did I choose that one? Did I read that one? Or is it this one? Oh, this one's not too bad. This stuff is actually pretty good to do as well. We'll do the Gulf Conference soon enough. Um, the best mines in Mexico. Let's do maybe tax regulation. Well, we're not going to build up cities anytime soon, really. This for now. Running Fuerte. Uh, we don't have a really good fleet anyway, so... Duplicated research, I guess. Our fellow cartel members have recently begun to develop their own science base. Sharing our knowledge with them, and vice versa, will help us gain the edge on our more technologically advanced arrivals. Which is pretty good. Invest in the people? Why not? Get more stability? Why not? And we have a total of 11 civvies. Fine with us. Money wise, 267 is pretty good. <clears throat> and I'll do it anyways. Lightweight metals are good. Monoplane fighters. One only one division from here on out. And get up some more of that stuff. That'd be nice. 
Ooh, actually, we need to get some. We need to focus a little bit more on our support equipment as well. Um, easy solution. That'll hurt arms factory. I don't want to do that. Military advancements. How do I take this one off? Oh, okay, so doing this one will remove other stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's good to do. That'll be fine to do. A lot of war support. That's very nice. Civil Architects is coming along. Nice. 11. Not bad. Not bad. The military factories don't get hurt too much, so we're going to build a lot of them. I want a lot of planes. Turn down depression. Anything else here? Not too much, really. A little disappointed that we can't do that much, but I mean, it makes Mex makes sense. We're in Mexico before Tula Luck dies. So, so we're just going to beeline through this focus tree as fast as possible then. Oh, public projects? Well, as soon as we can get some of this stuff done, too. Hopefully we can get some more cartel research. Of course, it would help if we made our own faction, too, but we'll get there. We got that one done. Economic advisor. Just producing guns would be really nice. Uh, resource efficiency game, factory output. Factory output is not bad. You know what? Let's do Enta Liaison. Why not? I think that would work well for us. Invest in the people. More stability? We can always use more stability, because why not? 11 city still. 11, nice. And after this one, we will do what? Uh, oh, there's no effect in there. That kind of sucks. Drug expertise? Uh, we get some support equipment, best and brightest. Future tech. Education exemptions with a developing scientific base. That's not too bad. The 23rd century innovation, civilizing the people. Every own state gets a building slot. Local manpower and group of population. That's not bad. Drug expertise. We kind of like drugs here. When it comes to application and cultivation of narcotics, nobody's are equal north of Mexico City. Applying this proficiency to more benign drugs will be useful in our burgeoning smooth skin health sector. But you do need this as well, but so we'll do military engineers next. While it seems deceptively easy, the art of digging ditches, stripping rifles, and filling mass graves is an important and sacred skill. Or scarce skill. Best that we get these basics down pat before moving on to more complex processes of war. Not a bad idea. And retell the story. Oh, we gotta do that. We need more PP. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Uh-oh. So now we can probably go over here if we have enough PP. Oh, we have the protector's guarantee still, but it'll go down soon enough. Um, actually, it gives stability and, and infrastructure construction speed. I didn't realize that, huh? Yeah, we definitely want to retell the story. Now we're losing, what, one a week? Oh, that's so bad. That's not good. 1.54 is not enough. Portable radios. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, which means we need to get some stuff over here. And we'll go with suppressive firepower. So now we need more military factories. God dang it. I'll go down by one. Go up to, like... Five for now. Go down to two. Go up there to two as well. To get research and military engineers. Not bad. I'd like to do that one, but retail story is probably better to do. Let's be real. How much money do we have now? Oh, not that much. So we can't spend any more money. I mean, getting another city would be nice to do with it. So, and by the time we build everything up here, um, like we can build stuff extremely quickly. So that's good. And easy solution. Oh, uh, no. You tell the story. 4,000 and hurt arms factory. We're kind of okay. We don't need to do that one. 2 7. Oh, that hurts a civilian factory. Good. Factory as well. No, we're okay. We're not. No, no, no. 13, though. And Yakota is almost done, too. Great. And the customs. Education exemptions, huh? A oh, cartel complete control idea. Wow. Autarchy, not bad. Pre-war heritage. Criminal economy still kind of hurts us, but that's okay. As was cartel nation. Oof. Appeal to refugees kind of goes down, but hey, people still want to come here, so... It's their problem if they die here. Uh, get some truck attackers, finally. There we go, nice. There we go, good luck. Good luckerinos. Actually, how many radios are we missing? Uh, that's still pretty bad. That's still pretty bad. From division reinforcement. We make like two a day. Or one a day, actually. Oh, that's so bad. We need definitely need more civvies. Oh, my goodness. And how many infantry equipment do we have? 1,400. That's not too bad. I got a week left for that. Getting a lot of research done. Easy solution? No. Invest in the people. Uh, yeah, give more, use more stability. I kind of want to go to war now. Actually, let's do the... Uh, Let's do the drug trade next, or drug expertise. And then we're going to go ahead and do 
the golf conference. Banditos, dictators, and couples, our aspirations and our methods are vastly different, but our common enemies have united us together, both economically and militarily. It's time for us to formalize this alliance properly and plan the future for a new era of, for the Gulf. Which would be nice. Nice. Blueprints are very, very good. So really, we're just missing a few planes, which makes sense. And radios. Which we're doing okay now, making 1.3 every single day. And we're almost done building all the infrastructure in our nation first, which is something I never do. I never, ever, 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 ever do that. 13 cities, though. Could be a lot worse. A lot worse. Old World Day. Alright, more PP. Thank you. I think your research speed. Uh, that stuff is okay. Don't want to spend our PP yet. 55% stability. We could use definitely some more. Um, uh, down, down oppression. Oh, uh, well, actually, yeah, we could do that. Get way more stability. 1% 1, 1 more every week. That's not bad. 57 caps. We, I definitely need a trade. We definitely need a trade node. Definitely, 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 definitely. I would like to enter Del City's trade node, but El Foro would not be bad. Yeah, there's nothing around here. So either El Foro or Enta City. So we'll probably go down to El Foro just because I don't want to mess with the Legion. Oh! Oh boy. Oh boy, I should have realized that it was going to happen in 2078. Um, we're not allies at all. Well, we'll do the Gulf Conference and the Benefactor. We'll do all these stuff. We'll see what happens. Oh, we we can go to war. We'll go to war with them probably in the next episode, but we'll see what happens. Um, okay, well, it's very interesting to see what's, what's going to happen now. Definitely train our soldiers. Oh, my goodness, that's so bad. Oh, oh, they're actually pushing into them. We'll see what happens. Definitely see what happens. The Gulf Conference. Which shouldn't last too long. It's two weeks, so that's not too bad. Over here, military high command. Um, That's so strong. That is ridiculously strong. Cartel recruiter, Isabella Garcia. Might as well, right? Well, if we get it, we might as well use it. The Benefactor? Let's cut the lines. Oh, we can't do that one. 16 infantry divisions of Paral, El Zappa. Paral and Nueva Adil. 16 divisions here, huh? Well, if that's the case. There you go. And El Rio? Or what, what, how do we do this one? Okay, so 16 divisions of Paral against Azapa. In the idea. Cool. Standardized tools. Nice, nice, nice. Get some workshops. Suppressive firepower. Let's grab some fire bases. Because we don't, can't afford it just yet. Got the lines. The benefactor. El Generalissimo is a generous patron. As long as his interests align with yours, luckily, he's just as keen to remove the luchadores from Mexico as we are. And will gladly provide the means to do so for a very, a very reasonable price. We do have a grudge to settle as well, so go figure. The Gulf Conference starts. Fanfare and festivities greeting, greeted the beginning of the Gulf Conference. As the envoys from Baja, Sinaloa, and the Henta met, the Generalissimo started the conference with a great feast, and now, filled with good cheer and better booze, the combined villains of the Gulf have begun their plotting. Let's get down to business. And Paral? Yeah, we do have enough, we have enough divisions here. Oh, maybe. Oh. Oh, you need one more. Alright, there you go. Economic agreements. Why well, not the main goal of the conference? The meeting of the major powers of the Gulf has a lot for a unique economic opportunity. While well, there are several ways we could coordinate our efforts, each with their own benefits, we should focus on one capsule and initiative that will benefit all nations equally. We get the event, the Gulf Conference, internal relations. N new non-compete arms deal. Share resource treaties. Army XP gain goes up about every day. Share resource treaties. Ooh, actually, I don't mind. I think that would be really good to do. Cap and infrastructure construction speed. Well, eventually we're going to run out of infrastructure to make, so... We do get more max planning. I do like that one. You know what? Let's do research. Let's do research. Let's do something different than I normally do. North Cooper taking a raid. Nice. And that's all good. And internal relations. Much like our economic agreements, we can use this opportunity to promote new diplomatic initiatives. As the main event draws near, we only have time to push through one major diplomatic act. Which one should we focus on? Super Friendship Alliance? Okay. The open ports. Open ports. Um... I like the civvy. I like the workshops. Let's get some super friendship alliance. 
Here's almost done training. The time has come for the main event, dealing with the so-called free fighters. While the previous agendas has drawn our nations closer, it's no secret that our main goal has been granting, gaining assistance in calling the luchadors. With our would-be allies sufficiently buttered up, we can now press our case in addressing the mask menace. Bullets? Volunteers? We need volunteers. Volunteer military pact? Hmm. Man, we could use that. Let's get the volunteers. Oh. Wow, that's all, that's all we... Holy crap, that's not very good. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Save some manpower for now. And is that it? Easy solution? Seven civilians? Oh, heck yeah. And conclusion. With the conference coming to a close, the parties are slowly filing out and returning to their nations, exchanging glad farewells and assurances of future jolly co cooperation. While well, this may turn out to have been a huge waste of time, for now at least, the future looks bright. Well, it went well, all things considered. Stability and political power, great. And we're going to do this one, and we'll finish off with cut the lines, probably. Um, let's see, Rio remains an unknown factor in her plans for conquest. It's unlikely, but so possible that they might come to the aid of the free fighters, which would be a disaster for our stretched forces. While we can't harm Rio directly, we can damage her trade with the luchadors in the hope that it'll disinventize them to interfere. But if you enjoyed this video, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we do go to war with the free fighters and have a good time doing so. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!